Hello and welcome back to Speed Freak Garage, home of Power Sports on YouTube. So today our goal is to put this 2019 BRZ Limited engine into our 2013 Scion FRS. Um, so everything in the engine bay is basically prepared except this core support needs to come back out so it's not in the way. I mean, technically, you don't have to take it out, but um, to get the radiator back in, it's got to be out anyway. So we're going to kind of finagle that. Um, got to make sure all these hoses are kind of out of the way where they're not going to get pinched. Um, these wires are out of the way where hopefully they're not going to get pinched. This is zip tied up out of the way, uh, which is your main harness and transmission harness. Um, got, that's the clutch slave, got your heater hoses here, um, <clears throat> let's see, now's a good chance to, now is a really good chance to cover that blue thing, because it's been ugly from day one, because you could actually see it pretty clearly, which was surprising. Just, I don't know, the blue really shined the sunlight off of it. It was very weird. Uh, okay. There we go. She ain't going nowhere now. Should blend right in once there's a shadow. Okay, sorry, OCD. Like I said, I'm, well, I'm probably gonna get, shit. Probably gonna get stuck with this car for at least six months, if not a whole nother year, which sucks. Stupid ass fucking coronavirus or something like culture virus. Totally fuck everybody. The whole world is fucked over. I don't fucking have a job right now. I don't have a job. I don't have a job. And we have to run on vacation days. I don't get paid. So then I'm gonna fucking do start selling my ticket pills. Like nobody has money. Nobody has a job. Nobody has anywhere to go. Nobody can sell a car. Can't sell cars. I mean, it's fucking insane. The whole world's fucked over. Some fucking assholes in China don't have healthcare. I'm out there, I mean, the government doesn't care of their own people, it's fucking China's fault, like, you know, the people who are like, oh, no, China's fault, it's like, no, China's shit care of the people in their complete disregard for basic, basic common sense and cleanliness of the food markets is the reason why this virus jumps to humans, and it's their fault the whole world's fucked over right now. And that's a fact, that's not the people. <laughs> it's not something you go, oh no, China didn't mean to do it. That's just fucking ridiculous. Okay. Uh. Sorry. Okay. So we got our specialty bolts to lift the engine. Wait, I'm forgetting I need to remove the car core support, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna guess it looks like uh, 13. I don't know, I'm used to working on the 12. It's German shit, which likes 13s. Okay, safety mode. Okay, this is my temporary parts bin. I'm not gonna have to take too much. Oh, there's more. Silly, silly me. Should have known. It's been so long, it's been a whole year since I took the engine out. Hopefully I remember how to get it back in. So. Think if I ooh. not really sure what to do with it. Don't wanna scratch up the damn it. Um Okay. Go ahead and take out the fuck. Uh, 
<sighs> There's one. Uh, okay. Uh, I think hanging it here is probably the safest bet. Get this out of the way. It's all tarred up from the turbo. Okay. Uh, all right. So, now we're ready for the engine to go in. The car's gotta be lowered. We'll do that once we're ready. Excuse me again. I, I'm so sorry. It's freezing cold out here. I got the thermostat as low as it can go without freezing the water pipes because I just can't, I can't afford it. I can't afford to, you know, to heat my own free. Yeah, it's not good. Not, not good. Okay. very carefully you don't want to like scratch shit but it's gonna be hard to do no matter what shit do I have the load level leveler on sideways still or I thought I had it have it oh like this okay all right that would have been bad spin the whole engine 180 that would have not been good okay so So this side here is pretty straightforward. So we just take this big ass bolt here. Spin it on, you don't have to tighten it. It's not like you're driving around like this. Okay, and then this one. This one requires that special bolt that I, again, I, I, I apologize, I don't remember what the thread specs were, but it was something really odd that I had to special order. It wasn't something I could find in town. And again, I'm sorry, I don't remember what the thread specs were, but you can look it up on Google, of course. So, and this one, you wanna be really careful because this is part of the block. So if something goes wrong, it's not like the bracket on the back where you can replace it. If something goes wrong, then you fucked your block up. So you wanna thread the threads all the way down as far as they will go. And you do not wanna use an impact you might have to use a, a ratchet just because if the threads are dirty they're they're gonna fight you but you want to use a you know you want to be careful you don't want to like jank it up okay and that's why I got these two big ass washers well shit I don't remember if my bolt's too long or if these threads, these threads were pretty dirty, so yeah, that's bottomed out. Back it off just a little so I don't have to, okay. So now we can begin our lift and we'll have to, 
Um, load balance it, of course. You want to make sure you're not catching on anything. I'll just lift her up. And see, the problem is I've got this as high as it'll go and as out as long as it'll go to get the most lift. But as you can see, the engine's not going to clear this. So obviously we got to bring the car to the ground and hopefully there's like half an inch of room to kind of slide all this in. I don't know what I'm going to do if, the, if it doesn't clear the car after the car touches the ground, which luckily all the suspension is intact. So I can set the car back down on its suspension for the first time in three months, poor car. And yeah, oh, I need to get my wheels changed over so I can, because nobody's going to buy it with those crap wheels. They're going to be like, oh shit, it's got the stock wheels. What the hell? <laughs> get my nice wheels cleaned up. Okay. So now we got pressure. So now we can loosen these bolts, which I believe are 14s, I want to say. It doesn't sound right. 14s. Okay. You want to be careful not to strip the threads because this is where your transmission goes. Okay, now the whole engine is kind of fighting me, so I'm gonna, there we go. So now you can see the engine just kind of started hanging from, now she's still, she's still not wanting to, there we go, there we go. Keep these because they could probably be used on most uh, Japanese type engines. Okay. All right. Whoa, okay, that was sketch. The load on the engine was not leveled. Uh, super sketch. Okay. All right, so we don't need this anymore. <sighs> Excuse me for a sec. Sorry, it's, it's just so cold out here. There's just nothing I can do. These might be an issue. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> make sure that's accessible from the top. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we got to get our trigger wheel on. Um, it'll only go on one way. Well, one normal way and to hope to God it's not damaged from sitting on the floor I don't think any hope to God nobody stepped on it <laughs> so it's keyed there's a keyhole and a keyhole so you don't want to you know you could put it on and not put it on the little key and you're not going to notice until it's too late and you've bent it so and this is the 20 just to reiterate this is the 2013 crank sensor bracket with the 2013 crank sensor and the 2013 crank wheel because the bastards used a completely different style of wheel on the newer models for no reason whatsoever because you only get five more horsepower it's not worth all this for five horsepower so it's kind of a disgrace really to just purposefully change shit just to make money like it's awful Okay, so now 
we can do the flywheel and I've got brand new flywheel bolts and brand new pressure plate bolts. You absolutely cannot reuse the bolts. They are not torque to yield bolts. However, the amount of abuse that they see, and they're oiled, they're pre-oiled, which means no Loctite. I thought you were supposed to Loctite them. I'm I mean, I did, but I, that, that made it so they didn't come back out, which may have been the mistake. Yeah, these bolts have been oiled. And what that oil does is it creates a higher tensive, a higher tensile force when you tighten them. Yeah, they are well oiled which means no Loctite, so I will not Loctite it this time. Because as you saw in an earlier video, Loctiting it caused me to have to cut them off. Okay, so we'll just use two of them to hold it down. Take it over, it's been gently resurfaced to break the glaze um, by a friend of mine who's extraordinarily good at what he does. <sighs> Okay, so Okay. Then I need to, I'll have to pause the camera here in a sec to look up the torque spec. Um, and it's a graduated torque spec. You go to one torque, make sure everything's seated properly, and then you go to the next torque um, to make sure it's tight. Okay, gotta look up the torque spec, be right back. Okay, so flywheel is 63 foot-pounds, pressure plate is 26 foot-pounds. So we're gonna go up high, high, uh, well, we're gonna start at 15 foot-pounds to get everything seated properly. Um, so I believe it was this one that got, no, this one that got busted. Yep, okay. All right, so you just go on a star pattern. Okay. Okay, and it's gonna spin. So what I've done in the past, which is super ghetto, but it works, 
is I will jam a jam a wrench into the flywheel and and it actually works pretty good. Uh, this wrench is probably too. Well, this might work. Okay, I might have just hit a compression stroke. very sketch that I'm doing this on a swinging, swinging engine. <clears throat> it's not really much I can do about it. I mean, I can wait until it's in the car, but that's going to make my life a thousand times more difficult. So I really want to get it done now. Um, this isn't doing shit. Oh boy. How did I do that? Okay, anyway, all right, so now we're gonna go to 30 foot pounds. losing my place here. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to go all the way to the top. 63 foot pounds. I wish I had a silver marker so I could mark them. Whew. It's a lot of torque on such little bolts. This one. Come on. Okay. Now I'm going to go around them in a circle to double check that I got them all. Okay. Got it. 
Got it. Got it. Or five, six, seven, eight, and then go back to the top. Okay. Whew. All right. And then crank this baby back down to 15 foot-pounds before I accidentally use it at the wrong torque. 15 foot-pounds. Okay. Now I'm done with this. Had to buy a whole set. Ah. I had to buy a whole set of these just for a whole set of these just to replace the one that got messed up. Of course. Because a whole set's cheaper than just buying one. That makes sense. Okay. I need to get the old pressure plate bolts out. Uh, where did the impact go? Oh, way over here for some reason. And I think they are, they look like 12s maybe. Holy shit, they're 10s. Damn. Okay. Now these, I think Loctite is in order. So these old ones are trash. And then the new ones are over here. Man, why are they oiled? I don't understand that. They don't have enough torque on them to not need. Uh. Okay. They gotta go here. So oiled that doesn't really make sense. Get the clutch ready first. So <clears throat> I 3D printed my own clutch alignment tool because the one that comes with the clutch is garbage. And the clutch luckily has printed on it transmission side. So that's at least straightforward. So this alignment tool is like dead on perfect like no wiggle no play makes life a lot easier and i think i have the files available on my website i don't know if i ever uploaded them honestly if you want if you want a copy of the clutch alignment tool file just let me know i don't know why i never uploaded it i probably should uh okay yeah. sorry excuse me for ah sorry i uh, man, it's just not. Now this wonderful thing, which has also been lightly resurfaced. Um, these usually only go one way. Um, they're keyed. It's not going on. Everything's lining up. Nope, everything's a little off somehow. Make sure that tool is good. Okay, try it this way.
That's better. It still doesn't want to go on. I don't understand. Okay. A uh, little confusing. Should go right on. I don't remember it being that much trouble. Maybe it's got a little heat. What is going on? <sighs> okay. Oof. New strategy. to start excuse me I, I just I gotta work I gotta do this I can't stop working just because I'm sniffling to just use the bolts to pull it. Pull it on. Come on. Now the problem is you gotta you gotta pull it down evenly. Um, you can't just tighten one bolt all the way or you'll screw everything up. So you gotta, yeah, I'm gonna have to, um, and then before you start tightening it, you wanna double check that this boy is dead, dead center. Otherwise you are going to regret it later on. <clears throat> so, Got these three. And I can't use the impact because the impact, even in safety mode, goes way over the torque spec. So I'm gonna have to do it. Well, actually, uh-oh. Come on. What's your problem? There we go. And that had me worried for a sec. Okay. Yeah. There's the... So if we just, we just gotta be smart about it. Just gotta be really careful. So... Okay, so what we're gonna do is one, what? Man, it just doesn't want to go on those doll pens. Make sure that is dead center. And it is. Okay. All right. So now. Yeah, why isn't she going on those doll pins? Okay.
Okay, let's go ahead and get the torque wrench. So we're gonna start at 15 foot-pounds and then jump to 26. So. You can see we still got quite a long way to go. Fifteen foot pounds. Go straight across. Fifteen. Jump. Fifteen. And then double check, still straight. If it stops shaking, yep, still dead on straight. And then um, 26 foot pounds. Here we go. Excuse me. Okay. And then I think I missed one, make sure I don't miss one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and back to the top. And you can see, you know, 26 foot pounds is almost nothing. I mean, that's barely anything. So the Loctite's very important for that. So, ah, excuse me a sec. God, sorry, I, I, just, I can't stop working. I need to get this done. Okay, so now we can pull that out. It came out nice and easy and you can see, well, you guys can't see it, but I can see that I am dead center. So, sh transmission should go right in. Should being the magical key word. Now the other thing we need to do is the spline grease. And last time I used way too much. Probably should have done this first actually. Too late now. But anyway, last time I used too much and it got all over the clutch and caused it to glaze up. So this time I'm gonna be a little more careful with it. There's still a little tiny bit of grease left, so. I mean, we're just gonna we're just barely gonna grease it because it's already got grease on it. I mean, it only has 3,000 miles on it. So we're just gonna really carefully just touch it up so we don't have trouble installing the transmission. All right, that's all we need. And then clean my hands up just a little. Okay, 
the engine's ready to go in. So just gotta not fuck up the car while we're doing that. So um, doing it alone is kind of dumb and gonna be problematic. Uh, so get the torque wrench set down to zero, or not zero, but lowest setting. Okay, and then once I get this engine moved, I can move my workbench to a more reasonable spot. Not workbench, but my work cart. So these are the engine mount nuts, and I don't remember what the torque spec is on those. So before we start that, let me check. Okay, so the engine mounts only 33 foot pounds. For the two bolts that hold the whole engine on, 33 foot pounds. <laughs> so lots and lots of lock type, yes. Um, anyway, we're gonna drop the car down. Really wish I had a single sided lock. Oh well, it was a very good price on the lift. So we are going to go all the way down to the ground. Even that's going to be sketch. Not so far that I guess it releases the... Uh, look at that, that's, that's close. Not so far that the arms release because I don't want to have to realign them. And then this is going to go... Still not high enough. Come by a long shot. Uh, oh boy. Okay. Just gonna have to max this out. by myself is so dumb. Rich is still in there. Damn it. Come on. Gotcha. Okay. That would have been dumb. Um, yeah, I'm thinking the overpipe's gonna have to go later because it's gonna hit my battery tray. Damn, that sucks. Just getting that overpipe in is not easy. Not easy at all. sounds like straight piped with the unequal length headers, but eh, probably not a good idea to blow hot exhaust gas all over the place. Okay, are you still recording? 
Yep, okay. All right, so now we need to go down a little bit. God, this is tight. We actually probably need to go this way. And then, yeah, still get this on. Doesn't help the whole engine is uh, tilted from the weight balance, the weight distribution. Okay. Remove the old fuel lines. Probably should do that now before I forget. So the way to do it is huge pain, but uh, you need to pick. I mean, I don't have to keep. Don't have to keep these, but probably better to. You just pick, there's like a little lock that you have to pick. Like you're literally picking a lock, it's the stupidest thing. Fuck. There's that. Oh, it's on. little locking tabs opposite the notches. So that's trash. The dumbass they cut it instead of unlocking it. I guess they couldn't bother to Google it. So one of my concerns is that the gas that's been in this car for a year is gonna cause problems. I put staples well, that's before I took it off the engine stand. What the fuck? fuel lines until I can get the fuel pump to start and spurt some fuel out of the lines. So it'll throw fuel out of these two lines and I'll have like a bucket or a bag or something to catch the fuel. Um, and I can check the fuel and make sure that it's good or at least good enough to go to the gas station and mix some fresh gas in. But if it's all gummed up, then I'm, and I've got a lot of extra work to do. And I don't know how to begin to replace all this. I hope the valve and fuel is still in good condition. Yeah. 
Keep going down. I'm gonna line up the motor. Okay, 33 foot-pounds. Got a fresh GoPro battery. The battery died and potentially lost some video. I'm gonna be really freaking pissed if it lost all that video. Um, really pissed. Because the GoPro gave me some kind of error Fucking piece of shit. Need a new one. Okay, so the lift is up on the locks. And now we can come in here. And the engine's on the mounts. Come on. down it doesn't matter which side you do first because they're independent Probably should try and put that over pipe in before I get too far and the transmission blocks my way. So um, let's try that. Like I said, the exhaust system 
you have to leave it all pretty loose um, until it's all together and then you can come back and tighten it what the fuck Okay, yeah, that was much easier without the transmission in the way. I mean, we're talking night and day difference. Okay, where'd the nuts go? All the way back there. Smart, smart. Okay, all right. Oh, it's just hurting my neck. hitting my sway bar for now. When the engine tilts back forward, it'll be fine. But it's in, that's good. Okay, don't think I have a gasket for that though. Uh, which sucks, I need to go get one. Should still, oh man, don't tell me the donut gasket's missing. Oh, please, please tell me that's not true. Uh, exhaust, 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 exhaust. Where's the donut gasket? Did I throw the donut gasket away? Please, no. God, those are so expensive. There's like 20 bucks. The donut gasket's gone. Son of a... Well... Okay. That sucks because I think they fucking jacked me $20 the last time I had to buy one. And it's probably $10 for this one. That's great. need to replace the rear main seal on that trans transmission okay what was I doing right the engines torqued the pipes in I think the very next thing is going to be the transmission um, should I replace the rear main seal first or not can't really I'm not really sure what, what I should do for that I think just replacing it in general is gonna be a pain in the ass it'd probably be better if I do it while it's out of the car ah. okay I need I don't want to smash my input shaft. This and this. And then I can try and tip it over. Okay. Okay. And then. Now I need to figure out how to get that out, 
But before I start jerking and prying on it, I need to make sure that uh, the replacement's correct. So the rear main seal should be a Subaru 17009AA040. And that's that looks correct. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this old one out. Try to pull it out. They're not so easy to get out. The reason why is it got damaged the last time I was removing the drive shaft. Um, just a dumb mistake on my part. <clears throat> so let's get it out. Yeah, that's what I figured. It ain't gonna come easy. It's gonna bend my... I think it bent my pick. Um, how the hell am I supposed to get it out? Yeah, it's bending the pick. Shit. Great. I really needed this one too. get it out how to get it out without damaging anything <clears throat> I'm assuming there's probably a seal pull or tool that I'm unaware of gonna do gotta get it out it's damaged Cutters are, my cutters are pretty, uh, pretty weak. I don't think cutting it's really gonna do anything though. Don't want that to fall down in there. That 
would be no good. Yeah, that would tear some gears up. Ooh. Does this one have one of those? It does. Yep, okay. So the goal here is to like cut this without damaging the surface here that seals oil. Probably not gonna be that easy. But if we can get our tools in here and Really? It's a much softer metal than the rest of the Come on. This is not gonna be fun. I need, I need smaller, smaller screwdriver. Smallest, thinnest one I can get. that screwdriver too. Fuck, if that gets in the transmission. Ah. No. <laughs> Motherfucker. Fuck. Oh, I really screwed up. Okay, it's coming out. It's coming out, come on. Got it. I got it. I got it. Ooh, that's that was close. Would not be good. Okay.
Fuck, I don't understand how you're supposed to get these out. Fuck. I don't get it. Come on. Just don't, I don't understand how you're supposed to get this fucking thing out. coming now. Okay, got it. Then we want to grab all this shit that I created. Oh man, I fucked that surface up. Fuck. Fuck. I completely fucked that surface up. Now what? Damn it! <sighs> okay, what to do? What do I do to clean that up? Oh man. Now what? know if RTV is a good idea or not. It would fill that gap. Fuck. Fuck. What am I gonna do? I have a choice. I'm gonna have to use a little tiny bit of RTV. Before I do that, let's find a socket that'll let us press this in evenly. It is one and three eighths. Okay. Now I need the RTV, which is lame because I, damn, it's not the right way to do it.
on. Shit. Don't tell me it didn't close right last time. Fuck. Where's the pick? I just need a little bit. There we go, okay. this back up. I'm not sure why it didn't close properly last time. done something wrong. Okay. All right. Okay. Now we just tap. Try and seat it evenly. Halfway. Got a little sideways shit. Okay. That's right, that's right. Oh, yeah. Friggin' shift lever. Shift linkage is right in the fucking way, though. Okay, I think that's about seated. I think that's seated. This side seems a little high. Okay, looks like the RTV did its job. Good, good, good. Okay, so we save that disaster. 
<sighs> Man, what a pain. What a pain. And all because I wasn't being careful with the drive shaft. Did it to myself. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now we need our lovely transmission jack. Okay. Whew. Whew, what a pain. What a pain. Okay. Oh, that's not torqued. So this, having this on, I don't know, might have to, I think taking this off actually makes life easier, so. We're gonna do that. Sucks this broke. This was really useful. Okay. Transmission. <sighs> Got to get the two nuts that um, trans. Uh, where is it? Engine, engine to trans. So we need these to help hold it together so it doesn't like lose its shit. And then I need, actually I'm gonna do, gonna do this. I'm gonna take these with me. This and then um, trans cradle. Trans cradle, I think. Yeah. And then, uh, let's see. Fuck. Okay, I need to get a nut size. I think it's all the same. At least I hope so. Shit, I left this at torque. Fourteen. Okay, at least they did that right. Okay, so all of this 
this, and this, this, and this. All needs to be within reach. Okay, and then you can tell I've done this before and made these mistakes of not having stuff ready to go. Uh-oh. This might be a problem. Yeah, I had the same issue last time. The transmission is just a little tall. Fuck. Okay, do it the way I did it last time, which is not fun. I'm starting to get warm. Got to get the transmission pretty much in position before I can use this. So I think then I gotta lift the transmission up, get this fucker underneath it. Oh boy, I'm trying to remember how this works. And I know the exhaust is gonna be in the way, so I gotta drop it down, which it really doesn't want to drop down. It's pretty much stuck where it's stuck, so, um, yeah, I gotta get, gotta lift this up somehow with my weak ass. I mean, I'm just so weak, I'm not, don't have any muscles, so, makes, Jobs like this a lot harder. <sighs> Fuck. What did I do last time? I don't remember. Fuck you. <sighs> oh, fuck, what the fuck? Spin on me. Okay. Whew. Fuck, that's a pain. Okay. Okay. 
Ah, <sighs> the engine is tilted probably too much. I need to... I need to tilt the engine forward a little, or yeah, forward a little bit. Okay, and then I need the adapter for the Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's, <laughs> I just made it worse. <laughs> okay. Fucking problem. The hell? Oh boy, we're caught on something already. Oh, that's real nice. Oh, huh. what's the problem? Okay, if I remember right, it kind of starts binding right here. It doesn't want to. <sighs> fuck is it binding on? Ow! Fuck! Ah! Oh, I just hit my head on the. Engine hoist. Oh, that's not usually there when I do this. Oh, that's gonna bleed. Oh, right there. Oh, oh, that's gonna bleed. Oh. Okay, what the fuck is it binding on? It's completely bound up. Oof. Okay. Give me a break.
the fuck is it bound up on? Fuck the stupid shit. the whole <sighs> what the fuck 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 you Drop the subframe, this won't be in the way anymore. But that's not the way I've always done it. the secret to getting this in. First thing I'm gonna need to do is get it farther back on the stand. Shit in my pockets driving me fucking nuts. Okay. How how do we do this? It's a very specific specific way. Transmission's not symmetrical, so it doesn't want to stay up. Won't it stay? Don't 
I'm done with the fucking transmission. I already slid. go now she's going okay okay now for the damn it fuck come on Okay, there we go, there we go, forward, forward onto the, come on, come on, don't cause problems, yes, okay, I got it on the studs, I got it on the studs, fuck, okay, okay, now, somehow without losing the studs, we gotta come up, We want these surfaces parallel so it'll slide into place. Cause it won't, the clutch isn't gonna, or the splines won't engage if, uh, yeah, if it does that. <clears throat> Think up, up more. Now what the fuck am I hitting? Did I go up too much? Might have went up too much. Okay. <clears throat> now it's a matter of playing the game of wiggling it. <clears throat> Why aren't you going? What's your problem? The whole motor's rocking. Motors <clears throat> fight me. I do remember this is not a fun. <clears throat> Never ever want to do this again. Come on. Uh oh, 
Now I'm stuck on the motor. What the fuck's going on? I think I need to rotate the motor forward more into the proper position. crushing anything. I'm not not sticking on to anything. Let's see. So what what is the problem? Why won't why won't it go in? What is the problem here? Looks like it should be lining up just fine. I don't get it. I don't understand what the problem is. And you can't really, you can't really see the clutch shaft or the input shaft. What is the fucking problem? It's like it's not even... Got it. Got it. Uh, okay, I just need to get it on those <clears throat> dowel pins. Why well, won't it go on the dowel pins? Understand. I think maybe I just have to use the bolts. Um,
Okay, where's... First thing I want to do is the trans cradle. That way the transmission doesn't fall. So we just put it in just enough to get everything. We're still a little off, but we just want to prevent the transmission from like, well, I guess I can't really get those bolts in until it, until it's right. Fuck, no, no, okay, wrong. Not, not do that, not do that. Uh. Question is, where'd the two bolts go that go into there and there? Fuck. Cause these go on the bottom, okay? This goes here. So where the hell are the bolts. Uh, huh. I wonder if those are the bolts I used to mount it to the... This is for the starter. Oh man. Are these the actual bolts from the engine? Shit. I think they are. remember doing that. I guess I got a pretty shit memory. Okay. I'm going to assume these are right. Yeah, they got a little six dot thing. They're a different length though. Okay, so I think I think these are the bolts I'm supposed to be using. So Starter can be last. I've got to see the engines just. Where was that bolt? I saw the this one. This one goes down there. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, that's a problem. The threads aren't lining up. No. 
All the threads on this bolt are janked up. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <sighs> what is this? Oh, pipe taps. Hopefully it's a standard thread size. Okay, it's a 10 by 1.25. Where the fuck is this? I'm missing a tap? That's great. 10 by 1.25. Oh, I'm not missing it, it's there, okay. Oh yeah, these threads are jacked. Come on. Mm. Fuck. I know this is not a good idea. I don't need your judgment. Okay, those threads are cleaned up, so hope to God the engine threads are, are good, because if they're not, I'm screwed. I'm gonna need this, I think. Try again here. Fuck. What is the deal? Should be going right in. There it goes, okay. It's a little burr or something.
Okay. So why these doll pens aren't lining up, I, I don't know. Hope they're not a different size. That would be so fucking bad. Okay, let's see if we can get the doll pens to cooperate here. Um, I have to very carefully tighten them up evenly. side <sighs> Okay, back to this side There we go. Okay. All right. Finally. Okay. Okay. Bottom nuts. Fuck. Fucking Loctite. God damn it. <sighs> okay. All right, let me get the torque spec, and then I'll come back with the torque wrench and Loctite. I forgot the fucking Loctite. <sighs> okay, it's 37 foot-pounds, but I actually got a good idea while I was uh, um, struggling. Five, 35. 35, 6, 7. 37 foot pounds is a lot for those little bolts. So, 37 foot pounds. But why am I struggling on the floor when I can now lift the whole thing up? So, we are going to just spin these nuts on for safety. Okay, and then we are gonna put in our cradle, cradle mount. So, And obviously these have to be removed one by one and Loctited. But for now, I just want to get the car off the ground. Because if I have to keep this car, I don't want to half-ass it. Things all rusty because they got aluminum going to steel. 
Fuck. That's not lined up. Shit. Uh oh. We got ourselves a problem. Give me a break. There we go. Okay. Man, I'm getting tired. My head hurt, my neck hurts. Okay, the car is now safe to disconnect the engine hoist and lift the whole car up so I don't have to work on my back. <sighs> okay, all right. All right, so these are go there. Let's see exhaust, starter, engine and trans top. That's the clutch. This is all the exhaust stuff. Shifter, drive shaft. I got new drive shaft bolts. Got all new drive shaft bolts. this anymore, thank God. Okay, these go back in there. All right, get this engine stand out of the way. I could not hit my head on it again. I gotta fold it up and tuck it out of the way later. Okay, so let's get the car up where we can actually work on it.
All right. So now I can actually do the work more intelligently. <laughs> so uh, let's get our torque wrench. It's already set and the Loctite. So the first thing we can do is these two bottom bolts. Nice table. So take them out. Loctite on them. Okay. Man, those are. They just don't seem to want to go. I'm a little worried about that. Then we go into 37 foot pounds, which is a lot. I mean, that is a lot of torque. God damn, that's a lot of torque. Ah, okay. Now I need to get. Get this one out. Okay. And get this one out. Well, let's do this one. Let's do it a little smarter. So we'll get this one. Okay. Put it right back in. And torque wrench. God, having a lift is so great. I'm so sorry for everybody who thinks. Who, uh, yeah, I feel like a dick, honestly. I feel like a complete dickhole for having a lift. I really do. Really, really, honestly do. The lift isn't the expensive part. The lift was only about 3,000 including installation. That's not the hard part. The hard part's the building to put it in. Because a lot of people try to put it in their garage. They don't realize that the concrete's not thick enough or strong enough. And obviously the ceiling's not high enough. You have to dedicate a building to it. Um, you can cut out a four foot square of concrete and redo the concrete in those two four foot sections but you have to have a very very good concrete guy do it because those four foot sections have to be properly rebarred into the other concrete um, so you can retrofit the concrete it's just retrofitting a ceiling is nearly impossible i mean i've seen people that do it Seven foot pounds. Okay, and then that one up there, however the fuck I'm gonna get to it, it's not gonna be fun. And the car's gotta come back down to the ground to get the rest of them. Like all the way to the ground. Torque wrench is gonna 
be able to work in such a small yeah I'm kind of relieved the fuel lines are on the underside of the car so if they're clogged from that old gas I'll be able to pull them out hopefully not too troublesome to pull them out and replace them God, I hope the gas is fine. I put stable, I put a lot of stable in it. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Okay. Whew. And now there's just three more bolts, I think. From the top, I have to do it from the top. The starter, I have to do from the bottom though. Let's, uh, let's actually tighten this up first um, let me look up the torque spec okay these two are 30 foot-pounds these four are 48 that's a lot okay we're gonna go down to 30 foot-pounds we're gonna get our Loctite Pounds. Okay. Shit, what were these? Forty eight. I'm going to do an X pattern here. So uh, fuck, I forgot the torque spec. Yeah, it was 48. Should have trusted my instinct. Okay. Ah. Crank it up. 45, 46, 47, 48. Fuck, that is a lot. Phew. <sighs> okay. Uh-oh, what's the deal? Don't tell me I need to warranty this thing. I think the trigger is... Fucking trigger sticking on. That's angering. Fucking triggers sticking on. You gotta be kidding me. Way too much fucking money to pay for a defect like that. <sighs> okay, and then 
double check. Okay. Okay. Whew. All right. That's the underside. There's something else I'm forgetting. Uh, our little uh, penis shaped exhaust mount. Okay, we are now on our third GoPro battery, which means any minute now the um, memory card's gonna be full. So, um, put this in. Don't know what these two bolts are for. Uh, do these two. And it goes, I have F and R written on it, luckily, so it goes like this. Again, I don't know what those longer bolts are for. I'm sure I'll find out. Oh, they're for up here. Okay. So these are 17 foot pounds. So 15, 16, 17. And I'm assuming it's a completely different size. It's gonna be a 12. hit my cell phone on the way down like oh no my phone just made a weird noise shit it was a text message oh that scared the shit out of me oh man whoops I don't know how I managed to do that though okay still set and hope that didn't damage the torque wrench. I don't need to buy another one. They're so expensive. Okay. Okay. Leave that there for now. And then... Um, that'll just stay there until I get the exhaust ready. Um, I need... Go ahead and put those in. I think they're just 17 foot pounds also. They're really small bolts and they don't actually hold anything. They just kind of, they're just kind of there. So. The Loctite should take care of it. What? It's a different size? Are you fucking kidding me? It's a 14. Why, why is this? I don't know. Okay. Do the 17 foot pounds and then use my phone to check and make sure that's right.
And I got checked out that's right with the phone. Okay, so 17 foot pounds was correct. So I got these tight. This is tight. This is in. I gotta go. Oh, well, I guess I can do the starter. Um, shit, which was 37, right? The, the 35, 6, 7, 37. Okay, so we need the starter bolts. They're slightly longer, they actually are different. And then I have to, well I only have one starter. Uh, but I think a 2019 starter would have been nice, but obviously they're not gonna give that away with the engine. Okay, let's try not to drop a starter on my head. So, okay, so the starter goes like this. I can't get to the top starter bolt from the bottom. Shit. It's a problem. Because I technically shouldn't tighten it until I can get the other bolt in. Damn. Too tight. Still too tight. The fuck. Okay. All right. Car's got to come down, all the way down. Okay. The lower the better. Okay, now I can get to the remaining bolts. It's fighting me.
Come on. Almost there. See if I can get the torque wrench in there or not. It's a lot of torque. get some stuff moved out of the way here so okay there we go should be good enough already torqued right yeah okay so now now I can ah okay let's see this goes Here like that. This goes like that. We got a ground there. Ah, where's transmission top? There it is. Okay. So we can't use Loctite on the ground because we want clean threads. So the ground goes in there and it's a 12 so we can use our deep 12. Nope, that's a deep 12. It's just a ground so. heater hoses out of the way before I do okay so the heater hoses will go on like that Man, those are a little loose. That's kind of concerning. And on like that. Okay. And then. Okay, 
Okay. So, those should be good. All right, now I can plug in the transmission. I've forgotten to do that before. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, don't tell me these plugs are different. No, wait, this is the OEM. This is the 2013Y, isn't it? There it goes. It scared me. I was just I was like, shit. Uh-oh. Come on. Why are you being a dick? There we go. Okay, that's in. Now we can connect our... I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, that's for the starter. Right? No? I don't know what that's for. For this? Anyway, okay. So we're going to very carefully put this in. There we go. That was weird. Okay. Try to put it in nice and straight. And then this will pull it closed. Okay. And this. Okay. And then this big old harness goes. Um, Trying to remember. I don't remember how oh, this one. I think it goes like this. Oh no, don't tell me this is supposed to be under the intake. Shit. Are you fucking kidding me? No, 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 no. I don't know. I honestly don't know where it... I mean, this is... Am I missing a wire harness? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. So this... Okay, this is for the alternator. Okay. And this is probably a copper stud or something similar, so we don't want to overdo it. All right, there we go. Man, okay. Then this one, man, this one's got me confused. This must go to the starter. Oh, hell. 
Did I fuck up? Damn it. I fucked up. Okay, this one is supposed to go... Okay, I see. I see. Which means I gotta remove that. Where did the... Where'd... Where'd the blue screwdriver go? Shit. Where did, uh, what did I do with it? I put it, oh, that's, yeah, okay. Ah, sorry, I just need the OCD for a second. Okay, uh, so I need to remove the, remove this real quick. This harness has to go... to the inside. Like that. So this goes... there. Yep, that goes, this goes here, this goes here. Okay, then this can plug in, and then this can go back where it belongs. Okay, and then, yeah, I screwed up. There's, this is supposed to be a ground on the starter, so I gotta fix that. And then this, this is supposed to be up like this. Oh hell. I gotta completely remove the starter. Well, or I could remove that bracket. Probably better to remove that bracket. Um, There, that goes in there like that. And then it connects to the bracket like this. Okay, so then Okay, those aren't going anywhere. All right. I'll leave it here for now. Okay, so I gotta pull the fucking bolt back out the bottom of the starter. Great. Okay, probably better to do both of those items from the back. Get the starter back together. Battery's gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh. 
pulled all this shit out of the way. Okay, um... Let's see... Uh, that's connected. So I've got the... the AC disconnected so it doesn't engage the clutch and destroy the AC system. Um... Radiator's got to go back, back in. Um, that should go there. <sighs> uh, that's out of the way. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, fix the starter. I gotta fix the starter first. So I'll be done from underneath. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need. I don't know if that's gonna break it loose. Probably not. I have to put it on high power, and I don't think it's gonna do it. Uh, got the 14. Okay. And I gotta set this back. Oh, it's already at 37. Okay. I don't know if this is going to do what I need it to do. Yeah, I totally screwed that up. Pure luck. Pure luck. Okay. Alright, gotta get this ground on. Last thing you want's a bad ground. Back to safety mode. Okay. And then torque wrench. Starter.
probably a 10 mil. Yeah. Too low. Okay, better. All right. Okay, I need to get, get a wrench on it. And it's just copper, so I can't overdo it. It's not a 10, it's a 12. Give me a break. cap over it and then connect the relay okay all right starters hooked up might have to jumper it to prime the oil pump most likely we'll have to figure that out okay okay anything else I need to do while the car's up so I got, the exhaust will be later, so the drive shaft's gonna have to go in. That'll have to be on the cars on the ground. Um, the shift linkage, ooh, that has to be before the drive shaft. But I'm just exa I'm, I'm exhausted. Okay, I'm gonna put the car back down and put the slave cylinder in. And then I'll do the shift linkage in the morning when I'm all cleaned up, I guess. Cause that, I don't wanna get shit all inside the car that would not be good so drop it back down to its almost touching the floor do the slave real quick which is 24 foot pounds that doesn't sound good does that sound good at all Okay. Got the slave cylinder covered because it's a big, dirty, freaking mess. sure there's plenty of grease there which there still is okay and then if I remember it's kind of a pain because it's got a little pressure a little bit of hydraulic pressure so let's get everything ready to go ahead of time so it's a 14 I need this Okay. The last lock tight for today. Okay. So basically, you got to kind of push push it in 
and then get the bolt in. gonna fight. There we go. Okay, and then same here. Gonna push it in and then get the bolt in. And then it's 27 foot pounds, I believe. Five, six, seven. Okay. That's in. Okay, now the next step. Oh, set this back down. To... That's not good. Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to get some dip for this. What was I doing? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, man, that just whew, clears, but damn. Okay, uh, that's so basically. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. So go down as far as I can, then go back up. Nope. Okay. So that's the lowest locked setting. So I'll be able to get in the car and do everything I need to do in the car. It'll be super dark, just fair warning. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.